Welcome once again to resolve the unsolved forum from Panacea Avis Consulting Group. Today, in fact, our objective is to keep it as an open house. We would prefer and we would suggest and request uh, participants to join in, not only raise questions, to also share their views at different points. You're most welcome. No issues at all. Because as you know, today we have a very exciting topic, challenges of starting new ventures. Now, new venture, all of us are familiar and most of us over here have been part of starting new businesses recently or in the past. What we would be doing today is between myself, Mr. Iqbal Singh Rana and Mr. Ravinder Goel, we would like to share our experiences with you and trying to focus broadly on four or five key challenges which we have seen and observed while working, managing or mentoring various companies in the last 25 to 30 years. Along with me today, I have Mr. Iqbal Singh Rana, as I've already mentioned. Mr. Rana, welcome to the program once again. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Rana is a Managing Director at Corporate Productivity Consulting. He comes with a rich experience of at least 30 years plus with various corporates across the country, across sectors. Today, he and his team has been helping improve performances by implementing coaching, training, and consulting practices, be it B2B operations, B2C, or B2G. They have been across sectors into constructions, FMCG, BFSI, automotive, manufacturing. So it makes a lot of sense, and hence I requested Mr. Rana to join us in this discussion. Thanks, Mr. Rana, for sparing this one hour with us on this weekend. My honor, sir, my honor. Uh, once again, let me welcome uh, our close associate, Mr. Ravinder Goel. Mr. Goel, welcome to the forum once again. Mr. Goel has a rich exposure as a tech entrepreneur for the last 25 years. Not only he has been an entrepreneur, but he has played a key role in skilling youngsters across sectors and have managed operations across the country. Today, dedicatedly, he's focusing on new technology ventures, which he's advising and nurturing. At the same time, he is advising two or three companies in the retail sector and in other operations. Let's get going with the subject. See, about a venture or about a startup. The question is always about survival of the fittest. Now, when we talk about challenges faced by startups, there are many of them. But today, what we'll try to do is we'll try to keep our focuses focus on, as I said, broadly on four to five parameters, which are very, very important. We'll keep it around competition, We'll keep it around financing. We'll keep up down third parameter as forming a team, having a vision and decision making. Now, whatever business or whatever venture one is starting up, let me be very clear over here when we say a venture or a startup, it is not that five months or six year old business. Most of the time, businesses five years, six years old also, who are growing, are considered as a startup stage. So it does not necessarily mean that I have just a one-year-old business or two-year-old business. Businesses have a longer life. So five years, six years, seven years are also considered as growing organizations. So when we are talking about competition and when we start our businesses, 
I'm purely putting these queries from my own experiences. I have myself worked with various organizations which are today multi-crowd. Even 10 years back, I was mentoring an organization in Gurgaon, which was 10 crore, today is 120 crores. And we have seen how entrepreneurs sometimes have done well. And sometimes we have seen how entrepreneurs having a very good product and a very good brand have miserably failed. So we have that rich experience of seeing it and how they have made mistakes. So first, when we come to the word competition, what we're trying to say is when I start my business, I have to understand and appreciate that there are hundreds and thousands like me within the country. And how do I understand the competition? How do I study the market? It's a very open-ended question. To start off with, I would first like to invite Mr. Rana to share his thoughts and views onto it. Why do we feel competition is a very important challenge, Mr. Rana, for an entrepreneur? Thank Please. you, thank you, Sandeep. Uh, thoughts are coming in my mind out of observing people around, uh, things happening. Uh, the whole thing starts from the idea that person who wants to start up the venture, he says, what's the idea he has? And is this idea has does not have unique element of thousands of and they are looking at you. And the idea has got to start from that what profits will it make for me? The idea should start from how can I best serve the customer, my potential customer, my targeted customer. And if I serve him well, then I will be able to make profit. So the center is not profit. The center is serving some unmet need of the customer. So any business, even if there are thousands of people already in the market, can you go do your market research and see what is the trouble which the customer is still feeling? What are some of the pain points they still have? And looking at this pain point, they say, are there people who are attending to this pain point or not? That should be a start. And when you are doing your market research, you are going around, you are experiencing services of the competition. Maybe you have a, maybe you have a son or a daughter and you ask them to enroll in Baiju's. I'm just taking an example. And when they enroll in Baiju's and you ask them, what is the experience you are feeding? Provided you want to enter into that type of a field and you have something in mind. They say, this is good, this is not good. They go on a very high speed. They don't listen. The teacher does not uh, entertain your questions. So you right. and say, oh, is there a market where I could do a maximum of five ka group or where I could do uh, individual tuitions where I will address every issue the student will raise? I'm just taking these as examples. So right. what I'm saying is very important that whenever my idea is germinating, I say, is there some unmet need? And I personally believe Sandeep Ji and Goelji that Abibi, in any business, there are still issues where the customer is not comfortable. The comfortable, the, the customer is itchy. Says, I wish someone can solve this problem. I wish this can be. <clears throat> and thereby you find out a solution. You, you, you say, oh, this is what I can solve for the customer. I think that is where it should start. And then accordingly, you should study competition, see what is unique about me, where I can make my own wish. Over to you. No, very true about the competition. Thanks for sharing your views. Uh, now, as you rightly put across, customer should be the focus. Am I able to give deliver the product which I'm preparing or the service which I'm preparing? Does it make sense to the customer? If there are hundreds of competitors, what are they providing? So very important thing which we have seen and realized is every new venture or every new entrepreneur should study the market and the need of the customer very, very particularly. And what I am going to service. At this juncture, I think it will be very exciting to take Mr. Goel's input 
because as me and mr rana has been advising and helping and mentoring companies uh, mr goel has been wearing both the hats he has been an entrepreneur also and at the same time he has been advising and mentoring companies too so mr goel uh, why do you feel competition is a very important challenge for an entrepreneur please thank you sandeep and i welcome everybody to this uh, webinar forum uh, i'm just uh, going uh, beyond the topic uh, a bit uh, this webinar forum we when we started uh, way back around 9 months back the purpose was to create a knowledge uh, repository for the people to come as i come from the education background so giving is the uh, sole motto whatever we have if we can create and transform that knowledge into digital world probably not today but yes uh, it is going to be a help for everybody around so uh, when we talk about uh, uh, the today's topic uh, challenges of entre entrepreneurship ultimately you see entrepreneurship is that you are looking at things with a different angle different perspective and when you, whenever you see uh, a different angle or different perspective uh, now what is that uh, background you have and how uh, good uh, visualizer you are basically it is something you are seeing so yes, it is not there uh, uh, like seen the unseen uh, entrepreneurship is seen the unseen so it is you who is seeing and uh, visualizing so all the pieces you have to really put in place virtually and then probably you have to come out uh, in a way where it can be executed now some uh, some people they visualize well but at, when it comes to the execution uh, they fail uh, and they they can't uh, do it they sometimes uh, fail in finances uh, sometimes they do they are not able to uh, bring out the manpower right kind of manpower right kind of environment So sometimes they lose patience. Uh, sometimes they start and uh, the expectations if not met, they give up very quickly. So entrepreneurship is like uh, 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 mountaineering to Everest. I mean, you can't give up. There is no right. back. Once you have started uh, and you are determined, then only can uh, you can achieve. Uh, so uh, probably back to you now. Thank you. uh sandeep also i would like to add as uh, like we have mr swash khanna with us and uh, uh mohit as well uh, we should their views as well in between so that uh, we have a more uh, wider uh, knowledge coming to us yes 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 absolutely right. i think there was a, you have put the, the perspective square one at that stage and at this stage uh since we have mr khanna we have other relevant senior people also uh since we it is an open house feel free if you want to add put in any queries you can come in without waiting till the end of it mr khanna would you like to put or mark anything uh we have first to prepare the entrepreneurs with the appropriate skill and knowledge right. of the field in which they are going to start their business that is the first thing they right. will need financing is where the banks can help them that is very important very right. true yes yeah. they have to be adequately trained to maintain their inventories and right. have communication and proper rapport with the buyers and see that their customers are satisfied they should have quality control these are all things which can help them in the long run very true very true so in fact these are very very important points very very important points because most of the time uh we have observed that a product or a service is been developed or designed or been worked upon to generate business without understanding and doing a proper market study about what is happening where my competitions are 
is my competition product accepted or not accepted if they are expected accepted over there what is my service or product going to do if i am going to provide my product and services in the market is there a opportunity or not or do i have to eat out from existing market share or not so my entire business strategy which is going to unfold is very important at this stage at a very early stage to understand whatever product i am preparing or i am planning to expand so for example if i have a good market in north india and i am planning to expand my product or services into a different economy into southeast asia or other places what is the competition why will i get accepted if i want to get accepted what will i need to do or if i have to grab market share what additional feature or benefit would i have to provide so very important time needs to be spent by an entrepreneur to understand competition and the market scenario so we didn't use the word called market scenario we used the word competition with the assumption that there are some services or products already been provided so this has been not i would say always most of the time we have found that as a gray area so 7 months to 1 year 2 year is spent company is planning for a 100 crore growth but the market or the competition has not been studied ki how will it grow from 10 to 100 and if it has to grow what what has to do so studying the competition is very very crucial at this juncture uh anything else mr rana or mr goel you would like to point out before we start moving to the different area you see uh, before i invite uh, mohit uh, ji to uh, come and share his views i would like to add on uh, what uh, subhash ji has said you see i remember a episode uh, like there was a, uh, a child uh, with the name uh, budhya yes. budhya i think in uh, some uh, part of bihar uh, so he could uh, he could have done wonders but then uh, he got the coach and uh, he is not visible now so sometimes what happens the in right. in bone capacities in case if are been tamed in a different way so uh, like we have seen uh, a movie of uh, this uh, wrestler movie <laughs> where uh, uh, he tries to train uh, daughters both the daughters in a different way but the coach uh, for the olympics uh, he gets into a wrong shoes and their performance goes down so it is not always yes. that uh, the the kind of uh, uh, the theoretical structure is always uh, is all uh, always uh, successful so people who are successful uh, they may not be as good as the newer uh, thoughts or they may not be able to align with the newer thoughts so somewhere it has to be uh, we have to see the balance where the new person the new entrepreneur or the budding entrepreneur which we call uh, they have that freedom of expressing themselves and probably the coaches or people like us they should channelize our energies with respect to their thoughts rather than we impose our thoughts on them uh, rather we must adapt to their thinking and just guide them so but uh, in india the culture is that we become boss the moment we start coaching yes. do this do that so the actuality the newer newness of the concept uh, is always taken out any i think i think i am i'm just summarizing whatever we have been saying till now that one angle of the whole thing is as to what is the idea and what is the competition have you done some type of a research to be very sure that you have some unique proposition for the customer if you are not sure of that and you are just starting something by copying someone that my friend started this about 2 years back and he is now minting money and therefore let me now check my job and also start the same i think it may not work right. until less i study as to even if my friend is doing this business for last two months two years what is it which he is still not providing to the customer what is the customer still looking for and can i bring that differentiation if you can do that you have won half the battle that's what my belief is thanks right very well said very well said no this is very important and you put into a right perspective mr rana that this is a very crucial point 
And Sanjeev, thanks to you because Sanjeev has put in a comment. India being a consumption market, challenge is not of demand, but the price and reach matter. Yes, this is also a very important point of studying the competition. What are the price? What is the reach? And how you are moving it? Uh, along with competition, understanding the competitions, we come to a very very important point, which in fact we discuss. day in day out me and mr goel have been talking about the same thing 5 to 10 minutes before this session finance on a new project right mr goel yeah now what happens is every business needs finance without finance without money things will not run now the first question i am sharing my views Very which tough. we face in the last 15 20 years okay fine sandeep how do i my product gets financing now the thing is on a financers or a venture capitalist let me share with you with data i have some data if you want i'll share with you as of 2021 if i go to a venture capitalist on a similar kind of product there are at least 1000 proposals line name any investor it is there if you go to a bank there are again hundreds and thousands proposal line so it is not that the proposals are not good or not fair now the first question comes is who gets the finance first and how do we go across that is one part and when we are talking about finance uh there is another part of it finance can be got in different ways i self finance it i go for a initial funding or you use a word called seed funding nowadays by giving some equity or as me and mr rana were discussing yesterday can i have a partnership firm can i get a partner can i go to a bank or a non banking institution and get a debt now we have seen each of this financing has a different impact on the long term vision of the entrepreneur and the company most of the time the right source of finance is not understood we have done a session on that we will come to it later so first the question is finance and this is a big challenge because as we are expanding i need money the business can generate its own money that that is also there but i want to grow fast i need more money so the question is there is a constant demand for finance and there is a constant demand for growth which is there uh i am putting the question very square and straight to mr rana is finance really a challenge do you feel so a very very open open statement yeah, but from your experience very good see my experience has been that our business which is a training business comparatively does not need much finance because there is no inventory so from the beginning only uh, we did not need much finance though after some time you need working capital because you will have your team you have to pay salaries to them you may go for some direct marketing consultants and you have to pay them for that that may happen right. a little later because in the beginning for a startup for any startup and particularly in our type of a business the startup right. is based on my own proprietor's abilities and my right. own contact points so therefore i know some people i they know my credibility and therefore they invite me and say that we want to conduct some training programs so in the beginning right. i will start with a very small finance but later on as you want to increase your team size you want to hire some consultants for various things you want to hire a office also naturally when you have a team of more than 5 you need office and you will have to pay for that and that time you need working capital and what i have realized is that i am not expert of this in the beginning your own savings come into the picture that is what that your own savings are you believe so absolutely the next is your friends and relatives so you need another 10 lakh rupees for next 6 months one year you uh, reach out to some friend reach out to some relative and then you get that is the second stage 
The third stage is when you know that you will require much higher funds, maybe five crore, ten crore, whatever. You want to uh, spend it on capex. You want to buy your own building for office. You want to buy new computers. So you will need lump sum money, and you know that I will be able to take it out after three years only. And that is where you go to bank and you want to do that. And we have still not reached that stage that we openly say we we don't require that type of big funding from the bank. And uh, otherwise, I believe that whenever I will require that type of a thing, I will reach a person who is an expert, and I know him. And this person is Mr. Sandeep Ghosh. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is my experience with it. Right. Now, there's a reason I come back to Mr. Goel after Mr. Rana is. Uh, Mr. Goel, now from an entrepreneurial angle. If I put a question, why finance is very important? How would you suggest or advise to people listening to us? Finance is important. We understand, but why is it a challenge? You see, as uh, Iqbal just said, uh, conceiving an idea is uh, is a no finance game. You can conceptualize, you can visualize, you can create ideas on paper without any investment. Right. But once you get down onto action. like uh, the manpower or the infrastructure or office or traveling or even uh, i i'll say the arranging lunch for the team or meeting and uh, uh, probably a venue that will also cost you now the part is that uh, most of the entrepreneurs if we have seen like the in the various channels uh, most of them are like 15 years 20 years they worked in corporate they created good saving they stuck with some idea and they started working on uh most of the cases it happens that the market does not uh, react uh, accordingly uh most of the time it happens uh, because you see what you do uh, like as uh, market research when we speak so market research what we do is uh, that we do not create a sample size of 10000 20000 30000 people we speak to right. 100 200 300 people and uh, that is not that uh, actual tg one most right. of the time we speak to the people who are known to us and uh, it may happen that they just to encourage as they talk positive so what happens is that uh, whatever you do uh, uh, once you take the product to the customer the real customer who is uh, about to buy your product uh, then you come to know what will happen with you and in that scenario I mean uh, how long you can sustain how long you can probably uh, review yes. product you can review your offering and you can customize with respect to the market feedback because it is something like you are training uh, getting training on uh, like for like we have simulator based training uh, for uh, pilots now simulator based training is fine landing is fine everything is fine but uh, but until unless you get into the system and you uh, fly the plane actually uh, you will not be facing the real kind of situation so simulation is quite near nowadays uh, simulation hours are also been recorded but in business whatever research you do uh, you will going to you are going to be customer only right. with your product and at that point of time how adaptable you are and how uh, uh, probably i must say that how sincere you are or passionate you are towards your project uh, that whatever may happen i'll be able to uh, make it happen and then comes the finance for everything for every expenditure for every action you need money now if a person who has worked for 15 20 years he has savings let's say 10 lakh 20 lakh 30 lakh or 50 lakh or he has arranged some fund from right group as uh, uh, ikbal ji said so in this entire scenario uh, ultimately funds are required and if you have borrowed funds from someone else you have to pay it back whether your business runs or not the liability comes uh, remains on you uh in the other case like if you have uh, savings and you have uh, quit your job and you uh, you are uh, now working on an idea so your savings will have a definite period if you are spending 1 lakh rupees per month so probably if you have 10 lakh rupees saving it will be over in 10 months what you will do next so in any of the case you need to look out the work out the finances well because if you have not planned and just started then it will be uh, uh, definitely mean the chances of disaster crisis are quite heavy no so very true very true uh, i will share a very important statistics at this stage 
uh, we have been talking about competition first and now we are talking about finance uh, the statistics of last five years says 42 to 45 percent of the businesses closed down because there was no need in the market number one so if 42 percent to 45 percent of the businesses which closed down because there was no need in the market that means they will obviously not get funding also as simple as that right and the companies in the last five years which closed down because of finance was 29 percent mm -hmm. this is about the startups and the growth stage companies these data are being received from financial institutions and venture capitalists so if we look into it a very crucial discussion at this stage is what Mr. Rana and Mr. Goel pointed out. Once I'm starting a venture, I have to have some basic draw of my financing liabilities, how I'm going to fulfill it and how will it cover it up. And along with that, I need to actually understand the market from the pricing, from the matter, from the competition. Okay, what I'm coming out with is there because the market reality says roughly 45% of the businesses were not financed or closed down because there was no demand. And similarly, a small percentage of companies, that is 29%, which were closed because this is from Statista, which is a research company globally, which does this research and presented. I collected this figure yesterday only mm. to share with it. And very important at this stage. And maybe uh, participants can also join in. I can see uh, Sanjeev is also there, Professor Pankaj is also there, Mr. Khanna is others. See, finance, why we chose at this juncture is a challenge. It is not about only getting the finance. What form of finance should my business look for? Should it be a partnership form of finance coming from friends, like Mr. Rana mentioned? Should it be venture funding? If I want to hold on to a company, should I go to for a debt? What kind of funding is important for me? Because sometimes we have found that we are at a stage where we have to restructure the company because they have taken too much of debt-based finance and they don't know how to grow the company. The company was doing very well, very well performing. They had assets. They went to the bank. The bank took the collateral and gave them a huge amount of debt. But the management could not expand beyond say 50 crore because they don't have understanding of the market. They don't have an understanding of expansion. In that case, they could have done better by taking equity. So the question is about not the finance. Sometimes we choose the wrong source of financing, which creates problem for the business also, because I can't run my business alone. That has to be understood in this world. It's a global environment. Not like before, I have global challenges. I have global and international platforms in my house, in my small city or village also, like Amazon reaching out. So I have to look at competition. I have to look at generic competition. I have to look at challenges. I have to look at source of financing. I have to take inputs from experts, understand it. I can't drive it alone. I'm coming for that. Sandeep, one or two things are coming in my mind. I thought I'll just share. If there's a person who is in a job and he's thinking of starting his own venture, I personally believe two three things, which I also did. One is when I am thinking of being in my own business, am I already in touch with various stakeholders already when I'm in the job? Am I creating my own equity with them? Am I creating my own credibility with them? I know that I will require finance. I know that Very I will important. require some people. I will know that I will require in the beginning some people to work with me, maybe at a very low salary, because in the beginning you cannot afford. Do these people believe in you? Do these people see your dream? Do these people see me as a very sincere person? And therefore they are ready to jump in because they are jumping into my dreams. And therefore very important that whosoever I want to take finance from, have I created my visibility to those people? And can I show to them that what I have been doing even in a job? Because mostly what I've seen, Sandeep, 
and Goel ji will correct me if I am wrong. Mostly I've seen that the person starts a venture in something where he is doing the job already. For example, in my case, I was with NIIT, NIS. I was into sales training when I was there as an employee. I picked up the ropes and that is what I started doing. And one of the key stakeholders for me had to be the customers. So the customers who are experiencing my services, when I was an employee at NIIT, NIS, they must feel great about me so that when I start a venture and inform them, they are saying, absolutely boss, we would like to come over to you. We have actually seen you executing, not a problem at all. And this is where many new venture people, they don't think about it. Either because they are introvert, that could be one reason, therefore they have not created the connects. Or it could be they are not introvert, but they are not so sincere. So they are not giving a huge value for money to the clients. They are showing their, uh, uh, their sincere face. They, they can be trusted upon. If I don't build this in the beginning of that time, then I will find many problems when I start my venture. This is what I believe. Over. So this brings us to the third important challenge which we're talking about is forming a team. Right, Mr. Anand? Also, yeah. we have seen that an entrepreneur or a business faces a challenge of forming the right team. Because the entrepreneur moves from 1 crore, 2 crore, 3 crore, 30 crore, 40 crore, 50 crore. Leadership requirement changes. Yes. Lot of people have come and joined your business, believing your dreams, and they look forward to the team leader, and they expect the team leader to do certain things, which is expected out of any leader as such. And believe me, I have been able to, we have been able to see it sitting on the other side of the table and the entrepreneur growing, 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 growing. But at a stage, despite reminders, the entrepreneur is not able to grow. The company remains at 10 crores, 20 crores because the entrepreneur himself or herself is not able to grow and form a team. So a challenge of a venture, starting with competition, fine. I measured the competition. I got the finance. But a very important thing is, I keep on recruiting, I keep on adding people. The people have their own dreams, they have their own aspirations, they have to grow. Now, I, can I form a team? So forming a team, I leave it to uh, Mr. Goel at this stage. Mr. Goel, like, is forming a team a challenge for an entrepreneur or a venture? And if so, why? You see, most of the cases we have seen uh, in the market that uh, some uh, college friends during their last year, they uh -huh. make a group, uh, some employees working in a company, they make a group or uh, a group is formed out of a same common interest area. So those kind of things like the startup team, uh, if they're partners together and they have equity in the business, so that makes the real team. I remember way back when I started in uh, 1992, uh, one of the person uh, came to me and said, Ki, uh, why you are uh, advertising always every Wednesday in Times of India, you have your recruitment ad going on. I said, I don't find that person uh, whom I can like and recruit. So uh, every Wednesday, I used to have advertisement in the paper. And for continuous, I, I remember six months to down the line, one year, I kept advertising. And mm -hmm. that's how when uh, reaching to the person who matches to your uh, feelings, uh, person uh, who matches to your passion and is uh, ready, uh, not only for, you see, finance is one aspect which is crucial for the employer as well as the employee. So you really cannot uh, take that away. But right. beyond that as well, you need a committed person and a passionate person who feels that, yes, I, I, I want to become a part of this uh, working, this project. So that happens and in case if you have a group of two, three people, one who can lead, one who can take care of technicals, one who can take care of marketing and sales. So that's the perfect combination if you have partners together. Now post to that, when you uh, recruit people, new team, 
it will take time because finding of the right kind of people is not something that uh, you advertise and you get. And uh, during this pandemic time, uh, migration has happened. People are not uh, willing to come to office. People uh, wanted to work from home. And uh, the biggest problem sure. is the kind of infrastructure required to manage the team from uh, home uh, is not available with everybody. MNCs, they do have systems in place. Their HR, uh, they, they have in place. So, but with the new startup, having everything in place is also a crucial thing. They have to manage on day-to-day -day basis. Right. Right. I think uh, team no. is something which cannot be formed in a uh, st one month or two months. It's a continual process. Huh. Having a yes. person to execute what is required today, that is a different task. But a person who can become a part of your core team, so finding out them is uh, definitely not very easy. True. Now, at this uh, stage which, which you pointed out, Mr. Cohen, is very, very important. Coming and uh, passing on the query to Mr. Rana, Mr. Rana, you have been coaching and mentoring across sectors. You and your team, both in FMCG, construction, BFSI and other places. So we might have seen companies growing mid-stage to the growth. And please do uh, share with us why it is important for any venture and why is it also a very critical challenge to look into for team building yeah. as an important aspect. Thank you. Thank you, Sandeep. I lost your voice in between for two minutes. I don't know whether other people also experienced that. But let me let me assume your question, hypothesize your question and answer. Yes. Uh, let me first answer from my own point of view. And I have faced huge challenges on team. Huge challenges. Okay. As long as we are a small company, we don't many people don't know us, and therefore, when they reach office, when they see around, they expect a very glamorous type of office. <laughs> they expect that it will be a huge office, and therefore, they don't say it to you, but they don't join. Yeah, even though you feel that this is the right fit, they don't join. That's a big challenge. The second big challenge is even if you recruit, sometimes you are worried as a small venture person, will I be able to consistently afford their salaries over next two years? For example, the pandemic time, many entrepreneurs suddenly don't know because the business has come down to 20% and the salaries are there. And when salaries are there, you either let people go, you say goodbye. But that's not easy because later on, you are not a Tata consultancy or Infosys that you will have 5,000 people applying to you again after six months. You know? right. And therefore, when you know that I have these three people who are good, I want to retain them even during pandemic, you somehow pursue them in some way that we will do this, we will do this. Can we have it to have how much salary? Can we do this or not? So you will try out all those things. Yeah, this is very important. Third thing, just to share with you, uh, when we want to have a team, uh, why should we always have a permanent team as employees? Why? Very what true. We have done what we have done is I have located many capable people in the field. I have located that those people are sincere and capable. I tried them in one or two of my own assignments. And when I found them very sincere and competent, I have created a long-term arrangement with them where they are like a consultant, they are like an associate to me. So whenever I require their services, I will pay them the fees. Naturally, it will be a high fees, but then when it is high fees, I don't mind because I am getting that from the client and I'm sharing it. And whenever I don't have an assignment, I tell them the sorry, we don't have any assignment this month. And they also understand. And by the way, they are also doing either their own business or they have a similar association with someone else also. So, so that is one thing. Second thing which I've realized, and it happens at many places, uh, people recruit team members based on some parameters which are very subjective. By subjective sure. parameters means what? That Sandeep Ghosh is recruiting some people. That fellow comes out to have studied in the same college where Sandeep studied. And suddenly their equation changes. They feel very happy with each other. 
then sandeep at the end of half an hour discussion asking that professor is there is that person there after that yes, yes. offers them the job which is a big blunder because you are not looked at does this person have competencies which are required for this particular job and this is a huge gap which i have seen in many places by people are recruiting teams big companies small companies fresh startups everywhere and therefore what i advise people is that when you are recruiting team you don't need by data of the person by the you need not have his by data what you need to have is that what role i am expecting out of this person one and for that role these are the seven competencies he must have and within these seven also these three are very high priority totally very high priority iske bina to chalega hi nahi and then your interview is to locate these competencies so he is from your college out he also knows bengali or punjabi or gujarati out he is dressed very well has a tie on coat pehna hua hai bahut acha smart lag raha hai out he speaks very good english maybe out yes. because the role that role does not require english communication to be a key criteria and if it does not require he is bad at written english he is bad at spoken english khatam ho gaya baat i remember once uh, there were some people who had come to office my office and there was one of my existing employee who was helping and beech mein maine pucha wo ladka aaya vikas usne aana tha kehta sir aaya to tha par maine to usko bahar se hi good bye kar diya maine kuch kyun kehta sir t-shirt pehn ke aaya what is this why is he in the t-shirt he is not serious about the job i said yaar hamare role ke liye hamare job ke liye uska t-shirt mein aana ya uska shirt mein aana hai uska coat pant pe aana koi mayne nahi rakhta but sir even then he is not sincere about the interview he should have come in shirt if not a tie i said sorry yaar the job doesn't require that he has to sit in office and do lot of back end work and even if he has to do front end work if we will tell him that was in our job whenever you go to a customer or even when you are on a uh, virtual call which has started happening now you need to be in proper formal shirt right you need to be dressed formally you should look smart and if you will tell him you say okay sir mere ko kisi ne abhi tak bola nahi tha aapne aaj bol diya hai to agli baar se main dhyan rakhunga that's enough so my experience of myself also is that i have also done many of these blunders let me tell you i have done blunders and over a period of time i have also redefined team i said team does not mean only those people who are roles team also means people who are associates and therefore you can utilize them as and when as and when and we have been very happy we have done some assignments across india where the customer said that can you do these seven programs in parallel in india one in kolkata one in coimbatore one in chennai one in bangalore one in delhi because i had the steam at the back and i knew that these people are capable to do this program i said absolutely yes when do you want to do it is the next week we want to do it on thursday friday saturday three day program at all these places because we are launching something new within a week i said not a problem at all right this has been my experience over a wonderful wonderfully put across so in fact these are the challenges we all have seen like and the interesting part is all three of us as we are sharing believe we we have seen lot of organizations start from two member team three member team to 200 to 400 and we have seen this organization go through these stages as we are discussing starting from competition to finance to manpower and the manpower has been a very critical scenario expectations as mr anna rightly put it and mr goel as he shared from his experiences now there is a very crucial juncture i am just evolving this discussion a bit at the final stages as the organization grows we imagine competition has been mapped some finance is coming through people are joining in the team is forming the business is moving slowly the entrepreneur has another challenge and a very critical challenge a very clear cut defined vision and ability to make decisions because as the entrepreneur is going from one stage to another every day the venture needs a decision to be made let's for discussion i'm taking a point 
the venture has reached a stage and we i'm just sharing from real life experience the decision making is the company's vision has to be shared because of the next stage of funding very clear vision then systems and processes because investors will want systems and processes venture uh, the promoter says yes yes uh, systems and processes let me be very frank i've seen organization growing from 50 crores to 100 crores the promoter says systems and processes but unfortunately the promoter themselves breaks all the systems and processes people are recruited from best of the companies they come they stay for 6 months company spends lakhs of rupees on the salary the person leaves so we sit down and ask them hey what was the use of spending on 10 people with so high qualifications from this people what did you get they can't answer so decision making and building systems and processes are a very big challenge believe me i'm not talking about you joining a company like tcs where everything is there you sit and it starts working absolutely but as a entrepreneur your biggest challenge will be setting systems and process processes and your mission now i believe in this i would like a very open thought from both mr goel on this and mr rana rana sir please thank you, you can because <laughs> i think aapne to bahut ekdam pate ki baat keh rahi hai i i have a friend who is working in a company which is now a 3000 crore company and he tells me even a 50 rupees voucher goes to the director for signing the director is the owner by the way director is not an employee <laughs> so so the owner wants to sign even a 50 rupee ka voucher my god so so that brings to the need of having systems and processes which means even if the director is because of whatever reason is not in the office for 20 days god forbid he 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 has been hospitalized let's say or otherwise he has to go for a world tour for his own personal family uh, wish and and suddenly everything comes to a standstill because when he is in the office every 20 minutes someone runs to him sir ye kaise karna hai sir ye sign kar dijiye sir ye bata dijiye and many times he feels very happy that i am indispensable see so many people coming to me for everything and therefore he feels very happy with that power and doesn't realize that tomorrow because of any reason for 10 days and by the way for the 10 days even 2 days he is not able to come to the office what will happen to all those decisions the whole machinery will come to a stand still and therefore i strongly believe that when a company is small a venture here we are more talking of people who are just having a startup in the startup stage only any time he comes across any glitch any problem he should sit down and convert it into a process that next time this happens this happens this happens this has to be done this has to be done the person who is accountable for this is this this has to be done so he has created out a small process even when it was a five team a uh, five member team and as it grows maybe this this process also may need tweaking it may need total reworking which is okay at least you have experience of that you created something it was working after some time it was not working and then you reworked it i think that should be the way to go that's what i believe and you don't need to hire a very fancy consultant to do it because you face the problems sit with the, your team once a week and say yaar kahan ka bhi problem aa rahi hai kata sir ye badi problem aa rahi hai ye bro acha agli baar se ye hoga agli baar se ye hoga agli baar se ye hoga and someone should document it so that kal if you have a new person joining he also knows this is how i have to do over over to goel sir right mr goel please very similar question i'm sure you have heard it see it uh, generally happens why do you feel it can become a challenge for a new venture please you see when uh, all those uh, 35 plus uh, webinars my uh, focus has remained on to the uh, the key promoter the entrepreneur or the businessman uh, whatever we may name him you see until unless uh, his mindset is set on a growth mindset and he is a man who is looking at uh, processes or operations or the money or maybe the growth or maybe a name fame so the actual uh, actuality comes from his own source 
now if a person is there that i don't want to be remain on the uh, in the business so he will definitely look for the processes a person who enjoys the process uh, the remaining in the business so he will definitely will not leave anything on to the people and he'll be running it himself from morning till evening and there is another person who says yeah this is all done and team is there one person at least is there who can supervise it uh, so he would like to say that yes you take the charge i'll be doing something else so you see the slicing of business and leaving it uh, that's a emotional issue with most of the promoters that how can i leave my decision on to a person who has joined me two months back so that that's the stress everybody carries now one thing is whether he is doing uh, like uh, one of my uncle he had uh, 270 stores uh, in france i'm talking about 20 years back uh, so he is to say that uh, you work on uh, 90% formula if you are there you do it 100% and if you are not there make it to work 90% it's fine so don't become uh, penny wise pound foolish you keep yourself free and uh, let the things run their own you intervene only when it is required if you do not leave people to do task at their own they will always be dependent on you as ikbal ji said that if you are out for 5 days your business is almost shut right. so it is 100% fact that i have seen uh, when we had uh, franchise network across india people uh, who had uh, placed like uh, we had a post center manager if center manager is empowered so the franchisee used to ask for uh the business is not happening what else i can do i can i open up another center or i can become master franchisee so he used to think only the business and the other guy who uh, uh, used to become a center manager himself his query used to be sir today only two inquiries came i could not convert it my faculty is not taking the class uh, this uh, book is not received his issues used to be altogether different yeah it is uh, like what ikbal ji was saying i was onto that part where the businessman wants to become a operation manager or he right. wants to remain as an entrepreneur so these are two different mindsets so you Very really true. you really cannot teach a person who is a operation person to become an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur you can ask despite whatever is happening he will remain entrepreneur he will not sit in the uh, business and do everything at his own so these are two different mindset like we have professor pankaj with us uh, he may add on a line on this uh, like you cannot change the mindset it happens over a period of time and uh, uh, like we used to have trainings done for all the centers together but out of 100 people one or two only used to get because it uh, strikes to what they were thinking so uh, what exactly and this is why that one and two becomes from 20 crores to 2000 crores yeah but uh, uh, see what happens is uh, with most of the organizations as we discuss these challenges what has been observed is as you build as you understand the competition as you get your finances as you start building your team a very big challenge which we see very very well to do products very well financed but the company despite everything is not able to form a team or not able to grow beyond a point so the purpose was to actually share and have a open discussion today with uh, the forum like it is not only about running and setting up a business or a startup the venture travels through different proposition yes idea is one the entrepreneur has a long vision and it needs to map competition it needs finance then it needs a team but after product or the solution the finance and the team the organization needs to survive and grow okay so it is not about the first 6 months it's not about the first one year because whoever is putting money into your business as a partner as a equity or a debt is also looking at making money over the next 10 15 20 years and earn out of it either in equity or in debt whichever way or as a partnership so as the association grows the bank also grows the venture capital is also grows the partner also grow you also grow so it's not about only crossing the bridge at the first level of forming an idea measuring the competition and getting the finance 
but it opens up a huge foray of challenges. And as Mr. Goyal wanted, Professor Pankaj, anything you want to add at this stage? Because we can see you are there live. No, no, I was just uh, saying that what uh, Ravinder ji just said, that it is basically a question of mindset. So what happens is uh, being an entrepreneur entirely different mindset from be that being a manager. So if your organization has to go, that means the onus lies you on you as a team leader so that every member in the team thinks in that entrepreneurial manner. That means all your employees, you will have to change them that you are also an owner to this dream. As uh, Iqbalji was saying about the people who are trying to invest, but I am saying about the employees also. Your own employees, if they do, are not a part of your dream, then they will not have that entrepreneurial mindset. And they will just remain simple employees doing a postman's job. Okay. Yeah. Just to deliver the chitti from here to there. That's all. So that's why I tell my students also that you have to think as an entrepreneur. What extra? What value add at every stage? That makes the difference between a person being successful or not successful even in their day-to-day -day life. So for every activity, if you see we do, we have, if you want, we want to succeed, we have to have that entrepreneurial mindset. Think what new we can think of, what new way of doing a thing we can think of, what value add we can do a thing of doing. That is the issue. Mr. Rana has both his thumbs up for this. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rana. Thank you, Pankit, for uh, joining and sharing your points. They are very, very valuable, very, very important. It's a mindset. Entrepreneurship is a mindset, and Mr. Goel right to what, put it. What we took to say Thank for you, one Mr. hour, Mr. Pankaj has said within two to two, three minutes. Yes. So we need to learn out of him. Is Very a much. Teacher? Very much. Important. Any other points, any other parameters which anybody would like to uh, bring in at this stage? Ms. Rana, you want to share something? Mr. Goel, please. Yeah, I think the couple of points uh, probably which uh, because the topic was uh, challenges in uh, setting up a new uh, business or entrepreneurship. So uh, beyond uh, like we have discussed in our previous webinars as well, which uh, comes on to the, not only the finance and team, but the legal uh, issues, uh, how to set up. And then nowadays, like because the government of India or uh, outside as well, uh, there are a lot of uh, promotions and a lot of support coming from the government side as uh, under like in India, Startup India is there, then incubation centers are there. Uh, how to take advantage of that? Like one of the webinars we shared, that uh, the employment you give to the people, some part of it can be reimbursed from the government. Yeah. Taxation is another point. And then comes the, how you structure your organization uh, for a, uh, like with a longer perspective. Okay, it may, the business may not run or may not survive, but you really do not start the venture, uh, keeping in mind that it will not last more than one year. So everything in the beginning has to be uh, kept in mind that yes, this business will reach to a level of let's say 500 crore or 1000 crore or my equity will become 100 crore. So if you uh, start like as Stephen Covey said, uh, that start uh, with end in mind. So the entrepreneur has to have that kind of attitude where he sees things in advance and then accordingly he plans and move. So it is uh, like uh, finances and HR is one part, but because uh, you work in a legal system, so legalities uh, also have to be seen and a lot of other things probably once you move out like signing a lease with the landlord is also a very big challenge uh, people uh, sometimes when you are new people start with the 12 years uh, 12 months advance so right when, then it becomes an issue uh, uh, the space the place uh, now finding out a right place where employees can be hired easily uh, right kind of manpower like if you're a tech entrepreneur and if you are opening up somewhere in village, you might not get engineers there. So you see, there are a number of issues which are uh, like wrapped up in this entire concept. So uh, yes, that's how uh, like people like us, you, uh, Iqbalji and everybody comes in picture where people can come and uh, take support from us. And uh, being we are all coming from education side of it, our all, uh, we all are associated with the education and training. So money, no money, yes, we are always uh, available with the people and the new budding entrepreneurs are really like uh, working with them. Right. True. They True. teach us a lot. When, when uh, like my son, I take him as a budding entrepreneur. Uh, Sometimes he challenges so much 
uh, it, it becomes really challenging to answer him and to justify his uh, questions and queries. So it gives you opportunity to learn and absorb more things. And uh, what uh, what we say that we are little thinkers. So really, uh, they test your uh, level. Very true. Very true. These are very very valid and important points which are there. I think it was quite an exciting discussion. And to sum it up, we did talk about competition. And we felt, feel that competition mapping, understanding the market is a very crucial function. Finance is a very, very critical function and one of the key challenges. Forming a team, not only retention, forming the team and the right mix and the right HR practices, whatever way, as Mr. Rana also pointed out, whether I need to retain them permanently or temporarily or on a consulting basis. Mr. Goel also shared his thoughts as an entrepreneur and his practices and experiences. This is a very important challenge. And all throughout, you have to have a clear vision and create your systems and processes because the vision which you created at the starting with the end in mind, as Mr. Goel said, um, you have to slowly evolve, understand, Challenges will be there. So we have been trying to point this out. And our objective has been, there will be, we have seen entrepreneurs who is very clear, okay, I will stay at 30 crores, maximize profit, that's it. I will not go beyond. There are some who says, I want to grow and grow and grow. I need, it's a different function. We have seen organizations which have built up very good, and destroyed themselves with their operations or whatever which was there. So these are the experiences which we have been trying to share with you and which we utilize to mentor uh, new startups and existing growing companies across the country in different projects and facilitate entrepreneurs in trying to take and make the right decisions as we coach and mentor. This is important. Thanks everybody. Thanks everybody for joining. Uh, thanks Sanjeev. You two have been putting on value, valued points on the chat. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Pankaj, for joining in and adding your viewpoints. Thank you, thank you Mr. Rana. Thank you, Mr. Goel.